It's a perfectly natural human trait to question our own existence. Where did I come from? Why am I here? You don't have to be a person of faith to have genuine curiosity about our beginnings. As such, we find that both atheists and theists alike have origin stories to explain, at least in some ways, the how we got here question. In this video, I would like to share both stories and make a couple of points. One, you might be surprised at how closely related our stories are, which helps me to make point number two, and that is, doesn't this make the atheist a bit of a hypocrite? First, let's start with my Christian narrative. Genesis 1, verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. It's a simple sentence to contain such a complex process, but perhaps that is exactly what we finite beings need. Simplicity. But in effort to make it a bit more complex, and for the purpose of this demonstration, let's look at it like this. We have the universe, which contains the heavens, the earth, the natural laws, and at least some observable life, ourselves included. No one argues that all these things exist. The argument comes when I claim that all of this was created. The atheist asks, by whom? I say, God. He cries foul. I ask, why the protest? He says, nothing can be claimed outside of the space and time called the universe. Pure naturalism will only allow the observer to make claims based on what can be seen. And since we cannot possibly look outside of this universe, making a claim about what does or does not exist out there is not a valid scientific exercise. For now, let's put the Christian model aside and assume the atheist has a point. Let's look at what the other side is claiming. In order to avoid infinite regress, both the atheist and the theist must claim a constant something that always was had to exist in order for there to still be anything again we get no protest here as it's another shared proposition however science up until recent history used to claim that the universe itself was the constant there was no need to invoke a magical deity in the sky for explanatory purposes the universe just is and always was it seemed we were at an impasse Christians say the constant is God, atheists say the constant is our universe. Then it happened. Through observing the expansion of the universe, we came to understand that by rewinding the tape, it would show that at one point all of creation got smaller and smaller, and smaller still to a finite point. We in fact are living in an expanding universe because a huge explosion set into course the origins of our natural world. In other words, the universe has a proven beginning and therefore cannot be the constant. So the atheist being without the prevailing explanation of our origins quickly formulated the newest and still firmly standing theory. It goes a little something like this. This universe is just one of many. In fact, there are a multitude of universes or better put, a multiverse. A multiverse generator creates these alternate realities, all with a different set of variables and fine-tuning. We just so happen to live in the one that supports life and has all the dials perfectly aligned. This creates what seems like a design, but it's very random when you consider that there are many, in fact, possibly an infinite amount of universes besides our own. So let me get this straight. Your new constant is something that exists outside of our known universe called a multiverse generator? It created our universe and all other possible universes? This is where I must cry foul and cite the aforementioned atheist reasons as to why. You see, pure naturalism will only allow the observer to make claims based on what can be seen. And since we cannot possibly look outside of this universe, making a claim about what does or does not exist out there is not a valid scientific exercise. The atheist is already a hypocrite by violating his own rules by speculating outside of the observable universe, but he takes it a step further and speculates that this multiverse generator has made several other universes? As a Christian, I must say that God might very well have created several other alternate realities, but as fun as this might be to fantasize and write sci-fi novels about, isn't this just the ultimate expression of blind faith? 
something that the atheist is constantly accusing the Christian of? So to recap, a Christian believes that something outside of space and time created all of space and time. Atheists believe that something outside of space and time created all of this space and time and several others like it, but just a little different. It sounds like we agree about quite a bit more than we once thought. Perhaps where we begin to deviate is that your creator is a mechanical, mindless, self-powered generator of some kind. My creator is a personal father who purposefully created at least one universe, set me in it, and desired to know me. I gotta say, so long as we're both violating the rules of observation, I like my narrative much better. <laughs>